Caleb, a.k.a. Oompaville, was scammed for $1 million. God dang. <laughs> dang. <laughs> so Caleb started a candy company called Sour Boys. They were selling some candy, and through the process of them taking manufacturing to their own hands and making their own product, the wrong people were trusted, and a lot of money was lost. <laughs> Uh, wow. we, we did a video with uh, Caleb uh, not that long ago. Uh, he he asked me like freaking, I looked it up. It was like a year and a half ago. Like I make a joke about this, like, hey, let's collab sometime. And I was like, yeah, sure. And we never did. But then while I was just kind of chit chatting, he was telling me this video was coming and kind of, <clears throat> I've been talking to him a lot lately because he's did something that I've been wanting to do for years. And that is to actually like start a business and manufacture like your own product. And wow. <laughs> I just, I haven't known like where to look. I've been like, okay, well, I want to make this product. So, okay, do I find like a co-manufacturer? Do I, do I, how do I, if I want to make it myself and ship myself, how do I do that? It's kind of, it was very, I couldn't find any answers. I just kept finding like dead ends or sites that would be like, pay us $35 and we'll give you like the list of people you can go to. But I've been, I've been <laughs> like DMing him back and forth a lot uh, lately and he's, <laughs> pointing me in the right direction so maybe maybe i'll have something soon and i'm, I'm also learning from his mistakes of how to not lose one million dollars yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah write this one down <laughs> yeah 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 oh man so yeah he's got the he's got this video out it's 34 minutes long but it's uh it's got a lot of information and in we're just going to kind of pick through a couple of little little parts here but yeah he's he's a good dude and his channel's got a lot of momentum uh and i think the the content that he makes i think he's going to like continue to be very successful he, he does he's very good at making uh what youtube calls like your hero content where you have something that's not your typical bread and butter videos that is attention catching getting scammed for a million dollars is very attention getting but you know maybe not the best way to spend your money but either way so you started the company with clint was there anyone else you had with you like your your parents uh my mom helped me from the very beginning clint helped me from the very beginning tara helped She's been an editor on the channel since 2019. My man, hiring your that's what I'm talking about right there. It's, there you go. One of the reasons that I like Caleb is that I can see some very, like there's very similar stuff that I would also do. Like, and then I've thought about doing, like I, I gotta hire my mom needs a job. All right. You Yo, know, hooking it up. <laughs> you hook it up. She's gonna she be the manager. You know, she's gonna take care of business. You know, my dad's probably okay. gonna help me, you know, with uh, maintenance and things like that. My brother actually works in maintenance. So, you know, if I need something fixed, just Damn. whatever I need fixed, he's gonna know how to fix it. Hiring families and friends, which is, uh, you know, what he did as well. It's like, I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, man. What's your affiliation with Sour Boys? I am a what you call just handyman, helper. Mostly for free. It was all. Yeah, <laughs> that's the dad's ah, dad. That would be my okay, dad too. Dad. Like, <laughs> that would be my dad too. Like, my dad's like, yeah, I got you, man. What do you need for free? I'm like, thanks, dad. You know, <laughs> you the man. Like, like my dad builds houses, right? <laughs> I like this video. Is, it's not so much about him getting scammed. It's more about the the similarities <laughs> of our lives. <laughs> uh, my dad, he's a construction worker. Like, he builds houses and everything. So, like. He'd be a great handyman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He came to Australia <laughs> and, like, fixed everything wrong in this house. I didn't even know things <laughs> were wrong. And he's like, I'm fixing that, you know. Or wow. whenever we moved to L.A. back in the day and, like, moved back, they, like, sold us their house. And he went and built another one. And then after we outgrew that house, he was like, let's build it. Let's build you in it. Whatever, man. You know, what do you need? And I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is, like, the best. This is the best. Oh, uh, Nice. And, you know, never charged me a freaking cent. And uh, what a saint, you know, freaking pay. Like, from listening to what, clutch. What, what Caleb's told me, I guess I'm having to like try to like pace myself on the knowledge I already have of this video. Um, but like getting friends and family to help you is like uh, for what he's gone through and his whole situation it was being key. At one point he was homeless. Like my that's, setup. That's the setup right there where he was like getting, making things happen. My setup's right here. Check that out. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Here's my cleaning supplies too and my play button for my channel. That got so I say homeless, but he lived in the factory that, uh, or the, the, um, wow. the warehouse that he had for his business. Deleted. What was which, it like being homeless and living in the warehouse? You know? <laughs> Would you do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I had to live on your couch for like a couple of weeks, Dane, you know. <laughs> that, that's true. That's like being homeless. 
Oh, man. So the, the story goes through here. I guess it's a long video. He says a lot of things. He goes through, he like, yes, they interview, like, his friends. Uh, you know, he moved to Texas. And okay. a lot of people actually just moved with him, which is pretty amazing. Like, that's that's some, like... That's pretty cool. I don't know if he's paying them or what he's doing. But, you know, like, if everyone just got up and moved to Texas, but, you know, taxes are better. And then uh, I think they're from Virginia originally. Yeah, okay. like, friends and family moved down. They're all working for him. It's... It's... uh. It sounds fantastic, but then you have, you know, Act Three delays and <laughs> where it all goes wrong. So where it goes wrong? Before launch, I met a fellow named Jake, aka Zelderon. So he was like my guy on the case, basically, doing research because he's an industrial automation engineer. He would definitely know more about the the process than than I would, a YouTuber. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And that's the beginning of the end right there. That's, that's, oh, where, that's no. where things start going wrong. Yeah. So, so I guess this guy, right? Okay. And they're, he's like, they're, he's developing him like, you know, American made machinery to, that he needs to like produce his, his candy line that he wants. And th- none of this is made like, this is all real. Like he's, he's got his home, like he's trying to do the production. Like, like I said, I asked him to fill in like the gaps of things I didn't understand. And he's like very knowledgeable and he's found out most of it uh, doing his own research. So I've learned I'm not qualified to do research. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he'd get this guy to start developing it and um, pumping all this money into it. Right. Knowing now that you've been scammed, were there any like red flags with anyone that was working with you? Like, do you think anyone was working against you? During all this delay stuff. Yes. Um, not really, no. So uh, you go through here and they talk about how like there's like delays after delays. There's parts like this has been like years in the making, like COVID happened. Uh, so oh, like they, they, need, yeah. they need like this one part to do this and they need this other thing. And so all these delays happen and, you know, more money goes into it. Uh, they go over budget and but they're, they're finally there finally is a machine, right? They finally have what they want. That right here, sobering I think. moment of what next? And how do you continue it? You you hook up the machine. So they no. got this big so thing. Like they the they haul it. You know they go they drive like a thousand miles with their trailer. They haul it back to their 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 place. Um, okay. And it's still not. It's in pieces. Like it's still not all put together. Oh. And there's still some things that aren't you know quite done. And this is where your engineer would come in, right? This is, yeah, this is, we, we, wow. <laughs> you know, Dana, that's some quick yeah. thinking right there. You know, your engineer, the guy who designed this would have to like, you know, show you how to use it or, you know, get it put together, or, you know, do like your, your, whoever your maintenance guy is going to have to like know what he needs to fix if things go wrong. Uh, there's like the, oh, that whole consultation part. Uh, and they like, they paid this guy and yeah, there, there's also been some delays. Like the guy who they're working with, like, hey, I went to the hospital, like, he got sick, uh, just all, all kinds of things. It's almost like whenever you get someone, you commission an artist, and they're like suddenly become like the sickest person on the planet, and they can't, they're, they, <laughs> and you just keep getting delays after delays. Like Very it's lost similar in to the that. mail. Yeah, and like every, every artist I've ever commissioned ever suddenly has like, all these problems and they don't, they can't get it done, which I'm, I'm always like, whatever, man, you know, it's whenever you get it done, you know, three months later, that's finally like, cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even need right. it anymore, but yeah, I appreciate it. Right. Uh, yeah. A lot of stuff like that started happening. Every single piece needed the pipes, the hose, the fittings, connectors, everything basically to get us from zero to 60 to launch. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was 130 grand. The blueprint. I sent him the money yep. in November. Send the money. $130,000 blueprint, baby. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, like the, 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 the dude that's doing this is like, like legit, like knows what he's talking about. Like he's, he's made it like so legit. And like Caleb's like down. He's like, yeah, cause he, sp- he spent, he's already spent so much money. Uh, like I said, we're, we're, I'm, I'm giving you guys like the very, I've, I've gone into like just giving you an overview. I'm just explaining to you, Dane, like what this video is about. All <laughs> like, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like this guy's like, he's legit, like knows his stuff and is like making it seem very obvious. Caleb's like, obviously, already very invested into it and just wants it to launch and it's like let's yeah. do it you need more money That's whatever baby. Let's he's go. already in might as well like yo I'll, I'll pump some more in let's just go yep 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 what was your first impression of will will's a character i mean you're gonna see him he's got he's got like colored hair what was your first impression of- all right so we get to this point to where they're like come on man let's make it happen let's get it done and then instead of jake coming they get will who is like a fr- like a friend of a friend of Jake or something? Okay. Uh, the, anyway, he he gets sent down and 
Because <laughs> because Will because Jake's sick. Yeah, he's sick or he can't do it. You okay. know, there's whatever reason, right? What did you think of Will? <laughs> and then everyone no. is not happy when Will gets there. Nobody is happy. It seemed like Will was there to slow us down. Either that or Will was completely incompetent. The first couple days, Forrest was working with Will when they were actually getting stuff done. He was like calling me like, dude, this is bad. I don't know what this guy, like, it, it, I hope Jake is better at this kind of stuff because we're not going to be able to launch. Yeah, so it's like, the help oh. is there and it's just like, Bruh. <laughs> That's a lot of wires, man. That's yeah. a lot of wires. I don't yeah. know, bro. <laughs> then you get to act for the breaking point, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this video's wild already, dude. Uh, oh, God. I mean, it's about, well, I think, what do you tell me, two years or something like that? Like, that all this has been going on? Yeah, it's it's been, God. And Jeez. When I, I, when I was talking to him about, like, hey, you, like, you've already, you've been through the hoops. You kind of, you've, you've. You have the groundwork. Advise me, please. It was almost like he was trying to talk me out of it at the same time. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, man, it's great. But uh, you know, how much risk are you willing to take? You know, how much, you know, uh, are, you, are you sure? Because it's about rude to me. Somehow, Will didn't really know anything about the machines, uh, which we all thought was weird because they built them. It was just like, a lot of asking questions and then getting an answer that's irrelevant, if that makes sense. Just like, are you? So, so maybe maybe Will like was the one that helped build this machine. Uh, like, air quotes helped build this machine, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah. had the screwdriver. He was putting the screws in. That's about it. Yeah. So, <laughs> skip it in the video. Like the little minor details, like that. I, don't, I, I guess so. Assuming from that, right? So, but but it's like he doesn't know how it works. So it's like, hmm, that's weird. Are you wow, manipulating me right now. Like, what is going on? And I should bring up at this point as well. Will had not been paid in two or three weeks. The money problems for Jake were at an all-time, uh, they were at an ATL. Not Atlanta, but on all-time low. Yeah, so again, so Will's getting paid by Jake, and Jake's not paying him. Uh, and oh. then so, yeah, right. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it gets to the point where Caleb's like, look, man, we got to get this done. I will hire you. Come work for me. Screw working for Jake. Let's just, let's please, let's do this. Let's play ball. Yeah. yeah You're here. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Right. And then with the money thing, of course, you know, Jake's not done. Next morning, Jake calls me back and says, yo man, $35,000 will get me one week. And then another 35,000 will get me another week. I laugh. I started laughing. I was like, of course. This same day too, that Jake says this will drop a massive bombshell that shook the earth to its core. Uh-huh. The scam is revealed finally. Oh, oh, no. homie, oh, homie's calling up for more money. And at this point, Caleb's like, <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'll give you more money, right? And here, and then we finally have the reveal. So I've been over backwards for this guy, and I just, you know, dude, how do you guys not know how to, how did you not know how to make this? Didn't you guys literally make all this? Didn't you design all this? And he looks at me and he says, we didn't design this. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Did you make it? No, we didn't make this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Which is, Are you serious? This part of the story is so wild to me that it like never came up before this. Like the, how do we do this? Can you work on this? The other guy coming there, not knowing what's going on. It's like, in hindsight, you go, ah, they didn't build this. <laughs> That's why they don't know. Wow. But it, it gets. I was uh, going to say, in the video with the dude just looking at it, he looks lost. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> ah, what did they do here? Yeah. And so the fact that they haven't, that question hasn't come up at all. Like, Will's come there thinking that he's just, you know, he's there to try to help them figure this machine out. He's to keep it going. Yeah, you know? it's it's so wild to me that they, like it, like this never came up after all of this <laughs> that they didn't even make the machine when oh that was the God. whole thing they were like he paid Jake to like design and have this machine made right right I thought that there was at least some level of understanding that we didn't build it I guess I was really confused about how I thought everybody knew um, or at least had put together the pieces that. There is no way that we built anything like this. And I look 
It's it's so odd. Oh my it's so god! Odd he looks so smug. You're sitting there like, what do you mean? You guys didn't get it? It was easy scam, bro. It's the weirdest part of the story to me. Is this part right here is like how it never came up. All these questions, all the frustrations, and no one was ever like. How do you not know how to do this? You know, right? <laughs> like, why do you think I know how to do it? You know, none of, none of that ever happened. It's crazy to me. Two years of stress and risk culminated into one moment of us finding out that I just got over hard by a guy that was my friend that tried to get $70,000 from me a couple hours before. Mm -hmm. I mean, friend's a strong word, you know, a Discord guy that you saw. I mean, I'm sure they Ooh. became close after talking so much, you know, there, it was. <laughs> that other guy's got like brass, bro. That's like straight <laughs> freaking onyx. <laughs> Just the audacity, bro. <laughs> How Will that's didn't insane. die that moment is uh, crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> he shows me a, uh, a, a receipt from Jake buying the machine. Literally everything that we had in my warehouse oh. was bought, pre-made from China. From China. China, dude. Our friends in China, they're incredible. They're easy to talk to. Um, so, but in the moment I was mad as f because my made in America machine, it's all big lie. China, dude. The best part of all this, mm -hmm. guys. The best part. A million dollars in, right? So over 700,000 to just Jake, not including the 70,000 that he wanted that I never gave him, fortunately. Guess how much the, the receipt for the machine was. Yeah, they guess. $143,000. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, $700,000, $150,000. Ooh, God. Hey. What? Hey, you wonder how Jake has money problems, you know? <laughs> it was wow. like, it was like, is it like just a, a bigger scam to like, well, he's giving me wow. all this money. Maybe I can get some more money out of him, you know? Like, bruh. Whoa! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What a scam! So it says he lost like a million dollars. Watching the video, I'm not really too sure where a million dollars lost, but I just got, got lost in the sauce on that one. Is like there's seven hundred thousand dollars lost to, to Jake, but then everything else I think is well. You been probably got to buy the warehouse. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's not lost though, right? You know. So. Well, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess spent, and that's um, all at um, once. It's it's spent. A million dollars is a fa it looks cooler in the thumbnail. I, I you know title. I get you. I got you. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll probably go do the same thing. I think, actually, at the time of recording this, I think Charlie just uploaded a video about this too. I think it was titled like "YouTuber Scam for a Million Dollars." I'm probably going to use this screenshot right here and title it the exact same thing. So whatever. <laughs> Bit of a scam, I'd say. Bit of a fucking scam. I Bit. haven't talked to him since. I've tried calling him, but I haven't talked to him since. <laughs> I bet I've tried calling Ooh, him. What a <laughs> I've tried to hunt him down and Believe find him. I tried to call him. <laughs> you know, them old, old dog, the bounty hunter's looking for uh, Jake <laughs> right now. Let me tell you, the Virginia boys. You know, I, I consider them to be fairly southern as well. You know, <laughs> you imagine someone someone scam me for that much money, Dane. I hope you would hire me to go get him. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like that's my that's my role there. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Beast hired an assassin to chase him down one time. I, I, I probably I DM him and be like, "Hey, yo, bro, where's that guy at? <laughs> you hired, by the way." <laughs> so, what's the status of the candy now? Um. Well, actually, it's pretty good. It's pretty. Yeah, good. yeah. And it does have a happy ending. They finally got it growing, and I think they like Will now is like with them. Like that's why he's in the video, right? Because he yeah he wasn't in on the scam. Yeah, as far as anyone knows, I'm poop, you know. Hope, hope, not. yeah, and uh, yeah, and it's it's kind of it's it's all good. I want him in jail at the very least. I mean, he financially ruined my family. Um, he yeah, so like he he doesn't like him either because like he wasn't getting paid. Like dude just wasn't paying him. Right. A big, a big old big old scam. But in the end, they got everything they want. Uh, I don't. I don't know. He. I haven't like asked him if. Like, I'm pretty sure they're like producing. Like they have all the sugar and stuff behind them. Like they're, they're uh, all. They're all natural candy. Okay. They're getting made. And he's, he was telling me like when I was was uh, in a call and he was like, "It's you know what? I was surprised at how good it is." So there, you, there you go. Yeah. There <laughs> well, you go. Try, try, try out that candy. Uh, but anyway. That's gonna be the end of the video. That's, 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 it's so wild to me though. Like parts of it that are like the most nuts to me is how it went for so long before it was like revealed. Uh, when it yeah. was like, all it took was like one question of like, 
how do you not know you guys built this? And then it all comes up like the key question of how do you not know what's going on? <laughs> oh man. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Say toast to my friends. I love you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.